Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. In this video here today, we are going to show you how to use um, this cool little program that allows you to change various things on your XMB, including um, your waves and your uh, fonts, your icons and stuff like that. Um, you may have experienced uh, a little taste of this for those of you who've used my GTA mod and it works kind of the same way. I will be releasing a GTA update, a small one. It's not like a mandatory thing or anything. Um, you can decide whether you want to install it or not, but uh, I've added some more themes and whatnot, uh, but it'll show you how to clear out that stuff since those waves and those icons and all that um, and the fonts are now going to be located in this program. Uh, kudos to Obi-Wan, um, not this Obi-Wan, that Obi-Wan. He's very well known in the CFW uh, community amongst developers. Chances are if you used a PS three that's modded, um, you've had a, a, a run-in with some of his work. Um, so either something he designed um, or something he contributed to in some way, shape, or form. So let's go ahead and let's start off by unzipping that file that's in the description. This works a little bit differently as this initially he designed it to work off of the XMB like a regular homebrew app. I changed it and turned it into a game, uh, kind of like a game, uh, kind of like a game app deal. So by doing that, it gave me the freedom to do a couple of extra things that will allow you to make a couple of extra changes that you would not have been able to do had it worked off of the XMB. So when you unzip it, you're basically going to put it where your backup games are, which is dev hdd0, and then this games folder right here, and just when you unzip it, take that whole entire folder the way it is and paste it right here. It should say PS3, EXTISO when you're done. XMB Extras Mod Collection. And in it, there are three files. Don't mess with those. Okay, and it should reside right there. When you come out of Multiman, or once you're you're done FTP, you, uh, you can just refresh if you're using Multiman. All right, and if you're using Webman, you should refresh your games list or refresh X, uh, XML which will cause you to do a reboot. You can also, if you have prep NTFS installed while you're using a Webman, you can select that and it'll refresh it and it should pop up on Webman. Um, but when it pops up here, let's say in Multiman, okay, you should see your disk icon there. I'm going to show you in the video how you're going to change those two icons to a bunch of ones I've added and also this background you'll be able to change it. When you first come here, it will be all black. There'll be nothing there, but I'm going to show you how to add this nice uh, spiffy background uh, to uh, uh, to uh, Multiman so that when you highlight the game, it pops up. All right, uh, that's Tekken. We don't want Tekken. There we go. All right, guys, let me go ahead and meet you at the XMB. You can load up the game right now if you want via Multiman or however you like. No disk is required. The disk icon will pop up whether you have a disk in your PS3 or not. Even if you use Multiman or Irisman, uh, that's another reason why I like this method. So I'll meet you at the XMB. Okay, guys, now here we are back at the XMB. And if you use like a game manager to load um, the program, you should have this disk icon here. And this might look kind of familiar. You give it a minute, it's going to pop up the little um, extra boxes here on the side. If you use my um, GTA mod, you're kind of familiar already with how this works. All right. Now, if you plan to change your waves, I would strongly suggest that you go to themes and make sure your theme setting is set to original so you can see the changes in the waves. Some of these changes will need you to make a full reboot of your PS3. They will do a, a soft reboot, but in order to see the change, you need to do a full reboot. And I suggest that um, if you are changing your waves and your boot up image after you select one of those two categories or something from those two categories just do a full reboot um, before you pick something else um, and really those are the only two you need to do that with all right so anyway you can also go here in webman if you have webman set up and you should see it there if you don't make sure you hit refresh my games or refresh XML so it can uh, pop up. 
and make a mental note that the icon here or the cover is red all right because we're going to change that here in a bit this one will always stay red no matter what that's the original color so when we go here here are the backgrounds these are the backgrounds that will appear in multi-man when you highlight the program right now it's black or well when you first install it it will be black um, but then you can pick any of these however you like right then the boot up images start here these are the images that will show when your ps3 boots up and basically the way they show here is how they will show when your ps3 boots up so if they're in the middle it will be in the middle of the screen if it's lower left corner it'll show lower left right and everything that you find here in this collection everything comes from developers some of it came from me um, others uh, and from others in the uh, just CFW community in general and so here are these take up the full screen right I did this Harley I did the Megatron on Finish Prime deal I think I did the Batman Superman too so um, anyway and the Joker one I did that one now these are interesting here these black and white ones these are actually transparent and they do not take up the whole screen these will display in the same area as the stock PS3 icon these are black and white and they're um, kind of transparent and so you'll be able to see through them the difference here between these and these colored ones is that these will fade in and out because the ps3 can only fade in and out the ones that are black and white the color ones it cannot do it so these will fade in and out and again they won't take up the whole screen they'll just take up a small section on the right side of your TV just like the PS3 one does so even though they look big like they take up the whole screen they won't um, and then you have your waves and stuff right and whenever you pick something you're going whenever you you pick anything from the four categories of waves PSN icons uh, boot up images or fonts it will ask you if you want to um, start let's press X there it's going to install and then it's going to ask you if you want to start the software now just always hit yes and it'll do a soft reboot okay so I hit yes and it did the soft reboot I didn't see the change happen immediately but if I was to reboot my PS3 you would see the change alright and then at the end if you scroll all the way down you'll see some icons that I added here your um, and by the way, these red boxes, these just pop up. This is a hardware issue, guys, with the PS. You know, it can only handle so much of these at a time. But if you just scroll up and down a bit, the image will pop back up. Here are the different icons. So this changes the cover slash icon um, that you see. So when you're in multi-man, those two icons that displayed, you can change those to uh, any one of these. So whichever one you select, both of those will change. And it will also change if you use Webman, the one that appears in Webman. So... Uh, the cover so let's select that one and because this one doesn't write to the dev flash it will happen immediately this one doesn't require a reboot so let's go here and there we go now it's green alright and that's pretty much it guys so be on the lookout for these other tutorials I'm gonna show you how to change um, like your home the color of your homebrew icons or just change the icon in general to anything you want here I change the color of the rebug uh, toolbar, uh, toolbox uh, icon as well as you can see I added a background to it and you can add a background to anything you want even if it's a game that resides in your XMB so I'm going to show you all those cool tricks anyway I hope you enjoyed this program guys let me know what you think we will see you at the next video thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much we've passed the 500 mark for subscribers uh, we did it relatively quick so I appreciate you guys much love going out to